get some sleep, he says. <laughs> I have been sitting in this chair all night with the lights off drinking coffee. This is a disaster. We are so screwed, man. These gorillas, listen to me, are gonna come down here and rip my head off. It's re ridiculous. I did not go to law school for this. Okay, now what the hell are we gonna do? Shut up, sit down, relax. I'll tell you what we're gonna do. You're gonna find out who took our cocaine, and then we're gonna kill them. That's a good idea. That's a great idea. Let me think, let me think, let me think. Oh, there's this retired colonel, Colonel Juan Garcia Cortez. He's the one that helped me set up this deal well away from Vice City's established thugs, okay? Now listen, he's holding his party out in the bay on his expensive yacht, and all of Vice City's big players are gonna be there, okay? I have an invite. Of course I have an invite. But there's no way that I'm going out there sticking my head out the door. No I way, not I told you, happen. shut up. I'll go myself. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, I like 1978 too, but you know, this isn't gonna be a beer and strippers do. I mean, no offense, but I think that you might turn heads on the runway for the wrong reason. What's wrong with the way I'm dressed? Okay, look, here. Stop by Raphael's. Tell him I sent you. He'll make you look respectable. Okay, go, come on. Who's that guy think he is? Now I gotta dress like a chump as well as hang out with them? I like this shirt. Alright, so yeah, obviously we have to pick up uh, some new clothing. And Tommy doesn't want to because it's his favorite shirt. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's hop on and go to Raphael's place. And I'm just gonna leave it on whatever radio station it is when I get into a new vehicle. Um, because I don't really care. I mean, I, if anything, I would have switched it to B Rock because that's my favorite radio station in the game. But that's just me. Um, but I'll switch it up since, you know, variety and whatnot. Uh, of course, that happened. Um, uh, it sucks though because when I was recording, I had a really good session going and some really funny stuff was happening. And over here, uh, this is not specifically what I was hoping to show off, but over here is a weapon. Right here. And it, it's a fairly good weapon in the game. Um, so I do recommend it. And if you can't already see or tell, uh, there is body armor up there and I am going to get it. That's what I was hoping to show off here. Rock the party, rock the party. You like the party, rock the party. Um, and this is the PCJ, I think. Yeah, PCG J600. Um, it's uh, a very common uh, motorcycle type vehicle in this game. Um, and I like using it, uh, even though it's not really that durable uh, and it breaks easily. I still like using it, so we will use it for this mission until we get to Raphael's, which is right here. So we didn't use it for that long, but yeah, at least I was able to show a couple things off. And what the heck? Oh yeah, this is not Raphael's. Over here is. Right. So we have new clothes. Suitable for the party. Hmm, nice bike. And they pan in on this guy. At first, maybe if you're playing this game for the first time, you're assuming that you're supposed to use this vehicle to go to the party with. But it's just uh, an option if uh, you don't already have a vehicle or unless you want this. Um. No, my bike! And then he says that, so I'll pick it up anyway, just to show you that though. Uh, and then I'll. Go off in my PCJ to the party. So there you go. Um, you don't have to pick up his vehicle, but I thought it was pretty interesting to show that off uh, since it is optional that they put that in. Um, so yeah, there's that. Let's go off to the party now, which is over here, which we'll be at later when we have to do missions for Cortez uh, but first I want to show off a hidden package that is right here yeah if uh, there's hidden packages near where I am um, usually I'll pick them up along the way so there's that and there's a lot of vehicles on there well there's some vehicles not a lot uh, but um, either way uh, 
Yeah, I like going down there sometimes when I don't have a vehicle, but there's always vehicles up here too, usually. There's a limo, yes, you can have a white limo, and uh, I might actually use that if it's still there. And up here is a pistol. So now we have two weapons, a pistol, and uh, the other weapon that, for some reason, I can't show off. Hmm. Whatever. Uh, um, let's just move on and do this cutscene already. Buenas noches. I understand you are here on the behalf of Mr. Rosenberg. I hope any recent problems have not affected his health or uh, mental well-being, Mr. Rossetti. He's just got a touch of uh, agoraphobia. <laughs> excellent, excellent. And you? I just want my merchandise. Ah, it's an unfortunate set of circumstances for all involved. Of course, I have initiated my own lines of inquiry, but such a delicate matter will take time. Perhaps we'll talk later. Meanwhile, let me introduce you to my daughter. Miss Davis! Karamia, could you look after our guest while I attend to my necessary obligations? Of course, Daddy. Please, excuse me. Mercedes? You try living with it. Anyway, let me point out some of our more distinguished guests. That's our Congressman Alex Shrub with Rising Silicone Star. Candy sucks. And have you met my lovely wife, Laura? No? Well, uh, unfortunately, she's in Alabama. This is Candy. And over there, we have the Vice City Mamba's star titan, BJ. Always the charmer. I blocked down on him, and then I put him in a wheelchair. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. Well, now, I'm looking at some prime... And that poolside amphibian is Jez Torrent, lead singer with Love Fist. Yeah, can I tell you, do you know how they play ping pong? It's silent. Let me tell you. It does not involve a faddle, if you know what. Impotent. And the chatty trio, that sleeping sweat gland is Papa's right-hand gimp, Gonzalez. And the other two are Pastor Richards and pseudo-intellectual film director Station Steve Wall Scott. The of passion with the new foreign invaders when the giant shark comes in and just bites their dicks off. Ah, now, you never saw anything like that before. Colonel, your party's as ever a triumph. <laughs> I can only apologize. Oh, well, then other amigo. How do we find you? <coughs> Our business is very dry. Barbarians at the gate. A time for rewarding one's friends and liquidating one's enemies, amigo. Who's the loudmouth? Ricardo Diaz. He's Mr. Cope. Mercedes! Oh, I was just taking my friend back into town. Another time, Ricardo. Ricardo, let's go Let's over get there. out of here. Sure Actually, take me to the proposition. Drinks. Yeah, so we have to drive this ugly hoe places and whatnot. Um, yeah, still almost still here. Uh, there's actually an extra dialogue if you go into a vehicle such as, well, it doesn't have to be a limo, but just a vehicle that's not a motorcycle. Uh, she basically just says, uh, do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Uh, but she doesn't say that when you're on a motorcycle because obviously, obviously she's, you know, you're on a motorcycle. You really can't do that. Yeah. Um, I just thought that would be interesting to tell you. Let's get in. Will you be working for my father? Oh, I, I don't think Maybe. she'll say it in you here either. Oh. In your lap. Maybe. Okay. It's so difficult. I, I didn't think she would say that. She said, do you mind me resting my hand in your lap? Even though she's like, if you're well informed about obviously, you way, not even close by me. She's way in the back. So I don't know how that's possible. But yeah, any vehicle... <laughs> That's closed in like this. That's not a motorcycle. I guess it's the best way I can put it. I could probably could have worded that better, but uh, she'll say that. And I didn't think she'd say. It. Oh God, she just got obliterated. Um, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. Uh, anyway, I'm just gonna move on and go to the pole position, which obviously is a strip club because she's a hoe. Ugly at that, and I'm just glad to get rid of her. See you around, handsome. I'm sure you will not <laughs> yeah and the pole position yes is indeed a property you will be able to buy later but not at this time so yeah you can also now you can pick up the suit that we have on now if you don't already have it on at uh Raphael's and yeah 
I'm gonna save and show off uh, the street outfit in uh, Tommy's room, which is up here. Um, and I use this to bring down my wanted level. Far up, dude. Yeah, this game takes place in the 80s, so you'll see stuff like that in it. Um, yeah, appearances and lines and just overall 80 related content. Um, but yeah, you can pick up this if you have uh, one or two wanted levels. Uh, uh, at the very most, it will take two away if you switch clothes like that. Yeah, that's if you have wanted levels. Uh, so I'm gonna save and then I'll meet you back at uh, Ken Rosenberg's place. Okay, um, I'd just like to, I forgot to mention that when you save, uh, six hours passes by every time you save, so, um, yeah, now it's night since I saved. And we're gonna go to Rosenberg's now, Ken Rosenberg, our lawyer, and do, uh, Back Alley Brawl, which is the next mission for him. If I can... Ah! Okay, well, I might as well show this off now. When a vehicle tips over like that, it will set on fire and then proceed to explode. I need a pen. Yeah. Killed a bunch of people. Got some money. Man, two sluts. And then, obviously, all the sluts down the street want to come down and check it out. So, there you go. Um... <laughs> Yeah, you'll be probably seeing that a lot. So, t what to do next? Uh, I don't wanna, oh here, okay, here's a whole pad. And obviously since we're here, we might as well pick up uh, this. Clean clothes, it says, I love that line. Oh my God, he flew in place, oh my God, and then the cops were here. Well, this wasn't that good. What a cluster of events that occurred. Oh my god. Uh, okay, I'm trying to ride on the vehicle. Oh god. He, they're gonna they're gonna bust me. Watch your feet. Alright, if the cops are after you, you can get busted and then fail the mission, which is not good. Uh, so don't try and get cops on your back unless that's the purpose of the mission. Um, or if that's part of the mission. Uh, but if you don't have to, then don't. But I did by accident, obviously. And it went away. Yeah. So we're already here anyway. We kind of just walked here pretty much. Ran here, walked here. Let's do the next mission.